Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another video on how data science and machine learning can revolutionize the healthcare industry. In today's video, we will learn why do we need prioritization in case of hospital admissions and how machine learning can help in this regard for a better patient outcome. But before we go ahead, a quick thank you note to our viewers. Thank you so much for supporting us by subscribing to our channel, which has made us pass the first thousand subscribers mark. This encourages us to share more and more such useful content in the most comprehensible manner that can help everyone to get a fair understanding of the impact of data science, ML and AI in our careers and lives. For those of you who are new to our channel and like the type of content we share, do subscribe to Scientist Express so that you don't miss out on any latest content. And just to let you know, admissions to our weekday morning batches is currently ongoing. So in case you are planning to upskill for a better career option, do get in touch with us. Now let's start the video. So why do we need prioritization in case of hospital admissions? Understand that hospital infrastructure and bandwidth are limited. Like it has limited number of beds, it has limited number of operation theatres, it has limited number of oxygen cylinders, it has limited number of ventilators and it has limited number of ICU beds. Now every patient coming in we cannot allocate everyone to ICU beds, then the ICU beds will get exhausted. So we need to prioritize every patient maybe in a grade of 1 to 5. Probably one will be the ICU beds with ventilators and five will be just outdoor treatment. This way probably we can use the bandwidth in a more optimized manner and can save more and more patients. Because for few of the patients probably they don't have too much time left. Probably in case of accident victims they might have just 30 more minutes. So we need to prioritize fast, we cannot keep them waiting. And when we use such kind of prioritization model at the time of hospital admissions then probably we can save more and more lives. So how data science can help? Using data science with all the historical data, we can predict what is the probability of death or the severity of injury of the patient and basis that we can train a model based on other metric like the patient's change in BP, change in pulse, his vital statistics and other data points and together we can train a model where the top 30% probably can capture 90% of the casualties. And at those probability bands, probably we would want to allocate them with ICU, with ventilators and probably for the bottom 30%, we would want to assign them for outdoor treatment. So how we will operationalize this model once the model is launched? So once the model is built, the model will be deployed in cloud EC2 instance. After that, every patient coming in through the front end, the hospital executive will enter the details of the patient quickly or maybe update the details through an app and it will call the model API and it will quickly allocate the prioritization, maybe a prioritization of 1 to 5. And along with that, the model will also provide explainability like why it's saying the prioritization is 1 or why it's saying the prioritization is 5 to improve more adoption or for the patient parties to understand the reason or even for the hospital staff to understand and accordingly the allocation will be made. The success metric of this machine learning implementation would be in coming quarters there could be improved survival rate and improved patient outcomes. For any comments or queries feel free to write it in the comment section below or call us on the number given below. That's it for today. Do subscribe to Scientist Express and stay connected. Thank you.